Cool. So just some background on what we're, we, we have presented on screen then. On the left-hand side, we have the TrustX back office where we've created a new QR code. So this, as I mentioned, initiates the ID and V process. On the right-hand side then, I have a, a screen share of my iPhone um, where we have installed the Truvera wallet and we'll use the front-facing camera to scan the QR code to kick off the ID and V flow. So as a step one, we, we scan our QR code. This will then launch the process flow within TrustX. And the first step then is presenting the journey that we're gonna take the customer on from unknown to, to known and trusted. So our first step then is gonna to be to capture consent as we're capturing obviously sensitive data from the customer. We need to ensure that we have uh, consent in place. The next step then is where we present a form to the customer where we're prompting them to uh, enter an email address. So for our demo, we're using that email address as an identifier to, to map to the Truvera doc wallet where we will subsequently provision the credential. So once that information is captured through a, a form, we'll then present a instruction screen. So what we can see here is that we have chained together a sequence of steps where we present to the customer. These are all customizable and can be uh, changed and removed and added as we see fit to build out that, that journey that, that meets your business needs. So in our case, we present an instruction screen. This really is, is there to, to help line the customer up to perform a, a, a selfie capture so we, so we ensure we get a, a good quality um, image. So our next step is starting the front facing camera. So as we can see here at this point, we're analyzing the video feed and we're providing real time feedback to the customer. Again, it's the, the aim is to get the customer into a position where they get a, a good quality image. And once we have analyzed that video feed and selected a good quality selfie, it gets captured and it gets transmitted to the server for processing. So once captured and processed, we will then move on to the document capture screen. So let me just go back a bit. So the TrustX platform itself um, supports a wide range of document types, um, supporting up to 200 plus country um, national identification documents spread across the various different uh, identity document types. So for my user, for my demo here, I'm gonna use my Irish passport. So we'll select those options. This will then start, this will then present a, again, an instruction screen to help guide the customer in capturing this, this document. Once they have proceeded, we'll then start that back facing camera. And we will again, provide real time information back to the customer to help facilitate the capture of that document. So once we have it captured, it gets processed and transmitted to the server. At this point, then we will provide, we will perform all of our document authenticity, our liveness checks on the on the data that we've captured from the customer. We will cross validate our photo ID with our our selfie, and once all of our evaluation steps have completed and we're happy with the onboarding process, we will then execute a custom function, which calls out to the Doc Labs API to provision a new credential. So we are extracting information from the, the data that the customer has provided us. We're hydrating that verifiable credential and we're provisioning it um, into the Doc Labs API. So once we open our Truvera wallet and we refresh, we will see that credential then being made available and loaded into the wallet. So the type of attributes then that we have captured have come from the ID document that we, that we processed during the, the ID and V flow, and they're now available for the customer to uh, within that primary credential. So as I mentioned, the credential also includes a, a biometric binding identifier. So that allows us then to link back to the 
to the biometric that we captured during the onboarding process, which is stored outside of the uh, wallet in the day on documents and the day on data store. And to clarify that, that biometric ID that you're showing, that's not the actual biometric. It, it's not like a hash of the, of the picture. It's more privacy preserving than that. Correct. That's exactly it, Richard. Yeah, it's it's simply a, a uh, an identifier for the, the 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 biometric itself. And then during verification, if I'm using the same biometric system, if I'm using TrustX to generate that same biometric, I'll get a I'll get the same identifier out. So then I can say, look, I'm the same human that's sharing the credential back. That's exactly it. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. So if we jump back on then to the the uh, TrustX back office, we can then view all of the information that we've captured during this um, ID and V flow. And we can drill down and to see all of the information that's been captured and processed. So for example, the, the selfie data that we've captured, we can see all of the liveness and, and um, uh, quality assurance that we've applied to the image. We can see the matching between the, the image from the document and the selfie that we've captured. And we can also then see all of the document authenticity checks that we have applied on the server for the uh, passport photo that was uh, sent up. So we can ensure uh, that this is a valid real world document. Combined with that, then we also have um, extracted all of that information from the, the passport using our OCR process. And that again is made available through the back office. So the final point then to show on our, on our process instance on uh, the TrustX back office is the cloud functions that we've executed. So in our case here, we have a, a custom function that calls out to Doc, and we can see all of the information that's been captured and processed, as well as the result from um, Doc as well. That's pretty slick. It, it's great to see how easy it is to integrate credential issuance into the onboarding flow where you do the identity proofing. Uh, I did want to check the, the the TrustX mobile app that they're using to make the picture taking so easy, uh, is that embeddable into an existing app? Is, is it available through an SDK? Yeah, so we, we have two main approaches for consuming the TrustX platform. We supply client-side SDKs that can be installed directly into a, a customer's existing mobile app. And we also have the ability to perform all of this capture uh, through a web browser. So in scenarios where the customer doesn't want to install any specific mobile app, we also have the ability to simply to redirect them to a, a, a website uh, where all of the screens can be hosted. Excellent. So the same way that we can embed the Truvera wallet into an existing app, a bank app or a travel app, uh, you can embed the day, the TrustX app into the the TrustX SDK into the same app and and get that integrated experience all in a single flow. Uh, that'd make a really powerful solution.